Welcome to LT Vegan Living. I'm your host. My name is Gary. This podcast is for anyone who wants to inquire about the vegan lifestyle. Episode 37, Reading Labels. Vegans read food labels by following a systematic approach to ensure that the products they choose do not contain animal-derived ingredients. Here are the key steps and tips based on the provided sources. Step 1. Look for explicit vegan labels. Vegan certification. Check for labels or logos that explicitly state the product is vegan. Common certifications include the certified vegan logo, the V-label, and the sunflower trademark by the Vegan Society. Product descriptions. Some products may explicitly state suitable for vegans or vegan-friendly on the packaging. Step 2. Check for vegetarian labels. While a product labeled as vegetarian does not necessarily mean it's vegan, it can be a starting point. Vegetarian products do not contain meat, but may include dairy or eggs, so further inspection of the ingredients is necessary. Step 3. Review the ingredients list. Allergens and ingredients. Look for common non-vegan ingredients listed in the allergen section, such as milk, eggs, or seafood. These are often highlighted or listed separately for clarity. Hidden animal ingredients. Be aware of less obvious animal-derived ingredients such as gelatin, whey, casein, and certain e-numbers like E120, carmine, which is derived from insects. Ingredients like glycerin, lactic acid, mono, and diglycerides, and stearic acid can be animal-derived but may also be plant-based. The source should be specified on the label. Step 4. May contain labeling. Products might include statements like, may contain traces of milk, which indicates potential cross-contamination, but does not necessarily mean the product contains animal ingredients. This labeling is often used for legal reasons to protect consumers with allergies. Step 5. Contact the manufacturer. If the vegan status of a product is unclear after reviewing the label, contacting the manufacturer can provide definitive answers. This step is especially useful for products labeled as vegetarian or those containing ambiguous ingredients. Additional tips. Experience and familiarity. Over time, vegans develop familiarity with ingredients and brands that consistently offer vegan products, making label reading quicker and more intuitive. Use of apps and guides. Utilizing resources like vegan ingredient lists, apps, or websites can aid in identifying non-vegan ingredients and making informed choices. By following these steps, vegans can navigate grocery shopping effectively, ensuring their dietary choices align with their ethical and health preferences. How do vegans read product labels? What are the pros and cons to label reading? Vegans read product labels carefully to ensure the product they purchase are free from animal-derived ingredients. Here are some key points on how vegans read product labels and the pros and cons. Pros of label reading Allows vegans to identify hidden animal-derived ingredients like casein, whey, gelatin, etc. that may not be obvious. Helps vegans avoid products that may contain animal ingredients, even if not listed as an ingredient. Provides assurance that a product is truly vegan, beyond just seeing a vegan label. Builds experience and familiarity with common non-vegan ingredients to quickly identify them. Cons of label reading. Can be time-consuming and tedious to thoroughly check every ingredient list. Some ingredient names, e.g. e-numbers, may not clearly indicate if they are animal-derived. Manufacturers may change ingredients without updating labeling, requiring constant vigilance. May contain statements can create uncertainty, even if a product is otherwise vegan. Overall, vegans tend to prefer products with a clear vegan label, but will still read the full ingredient list to verify as the vegan labels alone do not always guarantee a product is 100% free of animal-derived components. The consensus is that 
label reading is essential for vegans despite the time and effort required. Don't miss our upcoming episode 38 on meal planning. If you like this podcast, why not buy me a cup of coffee? The address will be in the show notes. I've established a temporary blog site where you can access all the show notes, internet research links, episode links, and speak pipe for leaving messages or reviewing my episodes. Feel free to visit it at ltveganlivingpodcast.blogspot.com. Soon, I will have my own website. But for now, come and visit me. The music featured at the beginning and end of this podcast is courtesy of Danmark Music Group. The opening and closing tracks are from the instrumental album Beautiful Days by Darren Birch, released under the title Mononymous, The Best of Darren Birch, Instrumental Songs in 2019 via Darren Birch Music. The composer is Darren Birch. I aim for accuracy, but medicine evolves and approaches may differ. My views are evidence-based yet open to feedback and new insights. No pharmaceutical or medical company funding ensures an unbiased perspective. However, this content isn't medical advice. Consult your physician for personalized guidance on health concerns.